Hello, and welcome to Continental Cement and Green America Recycling. We're committed to maintaining a safety and health program that conforms to the best practices of cement manufacturing, shipping, and the co-processing of hazardous waste. First, we will cover the 10 safety principles and the Continental Environmental Policy. Second, we will discuss workplace exams and risk assessments. Third, we'll discuss specific hazards you may encounter around Continental Cement and Green America. And last, we will discuss the plant's emergency procedures. Our safety program is built off the 10 safety principles, risk assessment, lockout slash tag out, fall prevention, personal protective equipment or PPE, transportation and mobile equipment safety, confined space, lifting and rigging, cell phone slash electronic device usage, ergonomics, and safe behavior guidelines. In addition, Continental Cement and Green America Recycling are governed by All Mine Safety and Health Administration, OMSHA, laws and regulations. While on site, contractors and visitors must abide by all laws and regulations as well. If you have any questions, if your policies and procedures comply with MSHA, Please ask your point of contact. All contractors are required to sign in and out of the front office and submit all required MSHA Part 48 paperwork to your point of contact before arrival. In addition, you must keep a copy of your MSHA Part 48 paperwork immediately available in case an MSHA inspector requests to see it. In addition, Continental Cement and Green America Recycling have a shared team-led safety program called FOCUS. The mission of FOCUS is to be the foundation of the Hannibal to Zero program by creating a culture that empowers all employees to put safety first through education, timely risk assessment, and accountability. Members of the committee can be identified by this sticker on their hard hat. Please do not hesitate to bring safety concerns to their attention. Now we will discuss workplace exams and risk assessments. At Continental Cement and Green America Recycling, we require all contractors complete a workplace exam and a risk assessment. A workplace exam must be done prior to work commencing for any conditions that may adversely impact safety or health, such as illumination, housekeeping, electrical hazards, guarding, and anything else. If you find any conditions that cannot be easily mitigated, please pass the information to your point of contact. Do not work in any conditions that are hazardous or against your company's policies. If your company already has a workplace exam policy, you may use your company's form. If not, please use ours. Now we will discuss workplace exams and risk assessments. At Continental Cement and Green America Recycling, we require all contractors complete a workplace exam and a risk assessment. A workplace exam must be done prior to work commencing for any conditions that may adversely impact safety or health, such as illumination, housekeeping, electrical hazards, guarding, and anything else. If you find any conditions that cannot be easily mitigated, please pass the information to your point of contact. Do not work in any conditions that are hazardous or against your company's policies. If your company already has a workplace exam policy, you may use your company's form. If not, please use ours. In addition, we also require contractors to complete a risk assessment form. Our form encourages employees to stop and think through a task, analyze hazards, focus on risks, execute the task safely, and review the task. If your company already has a risk assessment policy and form, you may use your company's form. If not, you may use ours. Before starting any task, please give your point of contact your workplace exam and your risk assessment. MSHA requires us to retain workplace exams for one year and it is company policy to retain risk assessments for one year. Please take sufficient time to review with your point of contact the tasks to be performed. Discuss tools and equipment needed, as well as safe methods needed to perform the work. Now, we will discuss specific hazards at Continental Cement and Green America Recycling. 
As you entered the front gate, you should have noticed this sign on your right. Please be mindful of all mandatory on-site requirements, such as PPE, speed limits, wheel chocks and other requirements. Drugs, alcohol, and firearms are not allowed on property. Do not use your cell phone when operating equipment. Please comply with all signage and do not enter areas you are not authorized to be. Mobile equipment presented one of the largest hazards around continental cement and green America recycling. Please be aware that mobile equipment travels through the plant during all shifts, and that all mobile equipment has blind spots. Do not approach equipment unless the operator knows you are there and signals to you to approach. All mobile equipment brought on continental property must have a documented inspection sheet prior to use. This is a MSHA requirement. In addition, seatbelt use is mandatory. Speed limits at the plant vary at different locations, so please watch for changing speed limit signs. Wheeled chocks and activating the parking brake is mandatory for all unattended vehicles. If you did not bring a chalk, please ask your point of contact. Do not enter the quarry without proper authorization. Be aware of the signals used to designate blasting. Unless authorized, stay away from explosive vehicles and designated blast areas. Go to designated safe areas during blasts until the all clear is given. The traffic pattern is the quarry is on the right. All haul trucks, loaders, water trucks, and trains of the right of way. Additional hazard training is required if you are going underground and will be provided after this training. Personal protective equipment, or PPE, must be worn at all times. Hard hats, orange reflective vests or a high vise, t-shirt, steel-toed shoes, and safety glasses with side shields must be worn at all times. Dust masks and hearing protection must be used when working in an area that is posted as such. If your job requires confined space entry or fall protection, your Continental or Green America Recycling contact will discuss our policies, procedures, PPE, and rescue plans with you. All equipment must be locked out and tagged out before servicing, adjusting, or maintenance is performed. In addition, equipment tryout must be confirmed by your point of contact. Pay special attention that all guarding is reinstalled before re-energizing equipment. Green America Recycling has additional PPE requirements that will be covered by your point of contact. Housekeeping is a safety issue. Please keep your areas clear of slip, trip, and fall hazards and use caution tape or danger tape anytime an area needs to be secured. Please ask your point of contact where the nearest trash can is to your working area so you can properly dispose of drinking bottles and styrofoam cups. Please leave an area better than you found it. Radioactive materials is used in the cement manufacturing process for various purposes. The radioactive materials locations are listed here. If you are working in any of these areas, Please ask your point of contact for additional safety precautions. If there is an injury, you must report it to your point of contact. An accident report will be completed for each occurrence so the Continental and Green America Recycling Plant can take the necessary steps to prevent the injury from occurring again. For minor injuries, first aid supplies are available in the first aid room in the main office building. All compressed airlines fitted with Chicago-type couplings must have safety pins installed. Do not direct the plant's compressed air towards you or others. Use the blowers provided to remove dust from your skin and equipment. In addition, do not drive over airlines or electrical cords. Electrical cords must be safely secured so they aren't a tripping hazard. If that's not possible, please barricade off the area until the project is complete. Please inspect all electrical lines and outlets before use. 
Properly secure and store all cylinders upright. And be mindful of the reactive properties of the chemicals and gases within the cylinders when placing them next to other chemicals. Protective caps must be installed when the cylinders are not in use. All gadgets must be readable and in operation. Hoses must be bled off when not in use. Emergency procedures are the same for Continental Cement and Green America Recycling. The evacuation signal is for long high-frequency tones followed by a short pause, repeated for not less than 10 minutes. Access to the plant will be closed to everyone except for emergency vehicles. All vehicle traffic will cease to allow for entrance and exit of emergency services. All personnel shall go to one of the two designated rally points, the pack house or the automotive Quonset hut. If there is a designated parking lot for contractors, please report there. Supervisors will account for their employees, visitors, and contractors. Any person not immediately accounted for will be reported to the emergency coordinator. The emergency coordinator will designate the safe exit if the normal evacuation route is inaccessible. Information will be transmitted via handheld radio on channel 1 or phone. Re-entry into the plant will only take place after clearance is given by the emergency coordinator. Thank you very much for your attention. If you have any questions, please ask your point of contact or ask to talk with the Continental Cement and Green America Safety Department. Have an excellent day and thank you for your commitment to safety.